Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rashetti Jones here with David L. Collins, number 98 for the OSU Cowboys. How are you doing today, David? I'm doing pretty good. I had a great day at, uh, meet, at Fan Day with the fans, and I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm glad to be here with you. That's great. So we're in two days now. How's it going so far for the D-line? Uh, so far, we're just getting our chemistry down. You know, we, uh, we moved some people to the outside. Nigel Nicholas is now playing in. And uh, Kevin Barnett is now at the three technique, the same position as I'm playing, and we're trying to uh, get the chemistry down so we can have a great year this year. I see you're a young guy. You've played a little bit over the years. Now it's time for you to step up and make a few plays. How do you feel about going into this season? Uh, I feel great. Uh, you know, I learned from the past uh, players, yourself included, uh, Jamie Blacknick, and the own so down with Chris Donaldson in the past future, even Nigel. They taught me the tricks and trades of uh, the position, and uh, I finally now I really understand it. Like it's just not all about making tackles; it's about being in your position and uh, holding down the floor uh, for it, so your teammates can come help you out. Coach Young, he's been coaching for a long time. Out of all the coaches you've ever been coached by, what makes Coach Young a different coach? Well, I would say uh, he motivates you in other ways besides yelling, but. Yelling is a good motivation to get you going, but he has a he has a great way of just coming, pull you off to the side, talking to you, giving you the inspiration you need, and just like demonstrating all things like that you need to know more. That it's more about just running and tackling. Like you need to know every position possible. That sounds great. Now I understand two a days just started, so there's not much practice for him to go off of. So from the spring. Who do you expect to step up this season and be a uh, new guy to make plays? Well, actually, um, I think Kevin Barnett will do a great job. He's a JUCO transfer. He's going to be needed this year. And also, I think myself included. Uh, I've been in the back row for these past two years behind um, Chris Donaldson and Nigel Nicholas. Now that Nigel moved out, uh, I need to step it up. Uh, and and um, do something to help out this uh, OSU program. And Kevin, I think Kevin's going to do the same thing. All right, with Cal. so much um, with so much depth coming back, with um, with all your cornerbacks coming back, your minus one safety, all your linebackers are coming back, and you're only losing two on the D-line, what do you expect from the Cowboy defense this year? Actually, I expect us to be one of the top defense, top ten. You know, I think we we should be uh, leading in the uh, Big 12 this year. Last year it was Texas, but I think this year we can take the lead. Uh, we have an amazing secondary with Roger Brown, Justin Gilbert, and D'Lo. And um, in our defensive line, we have great leaders at uh, Ryan Robertson, Cooper Bass, and Nigel Nicholas. And all those experiences is just going to help us out and flow and it's just uh, just come all together and want it to take the world by storm. Okay, speaking of Roger Brown, he has many nicknames. Some call him Pitbull, some call him Bulldog. Why do you think they call him all these different nicknames? Uh, as I watch Broder in practice, uh, he, he's undersized, but uh, you can never tell. Like, he's one, he plays hard. He plays really hard. And, uh, like, if you get in his space, he's just going to fight back just like a Bulldog. Is a, for a, a good example was the Texas A&M game. Uh, the guy was 6'6". Broder's only 5'9", and he... He just took over that game, man. The guy didn't have, I don't, I don't think he uh, made a touchdown catch the whole game. Sounds great. So, um, Justin Gilbert, we all know he's one of the fastest guys in the league, but do you think he's one of the fastest college players in the country? Uh, I believe so. Uh, people underestimate his speed. They just never see it like we do at practice. We know his breakaway speed. I think it's because his lack of uh, punt returns that um, – that people question his speed, but if you put him against anybody uh, in the nation, like uh, with uh, the Honey Badger from LSU, uh, yeah, I, th I think he'll probably uh, leave him. That's my opinion. Okay, the OSU defense, they led the country in turnovers last year. So could you explain for everyone watching at home, what is it that makes the Cowboy defense different from everyone else, and what do you do as personally as, as a player on the D-line to make sure that you guys keep getting turnovers and uh, trying to be the best turnover team in the country? Well, as you know, we already have a system that's set up. Like, we're required to 
have so many turnovers in practice, and you do that repetition over and over, if you're required to have five turnovers before the end of practice, it's just going to click in your mind that you need to just play hard and strip, rip, and all that, and just make somebody fumble an interception. That is just, it goes from practice and it goes to the game. And uh, it's just with the Coach, uh, Coach Gundy new system with the two, uh, the two whistle, you chase them down, and then you uh, rip the ball. You just rip the ball until it comes out. So with this, uh, with that, and our relentless and our just giving all our heart out there for the OSU fans out there, and that's that's just it. Okay, David, that was my last question, and this is something that I want I want I want everyone back home to to know about the OSU football team. Who do you say is the best locker room dancer? Uh, the best locker room dancer, I would say. It has to be um, Andre May. Uh, I enjoy watching him dance. He dances on the field before every game, and he just has his uh, has a variety of moves. Now, if it was Justin Gilbert, he'll say something different. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, David, and uh, we expect to see great things from you this season. So, ladies and gentlemen back home, you'll have more OSU Media Day coming soon. Thanks.